is revealing a growing and deadly problem on our nation's roads. For the first time ever, drugs are now to blame for more traffic fatalities involving drivers than alcohol. The research comes as a wave of states across the country legalize marijuana in some form. What experts warn could be a contributing factor to a problem on the rise. NBC national correspondent Miguel Almaguer has details. It's called drug driving. Now more Americans killed behind the wheel are testing positive for drugs than alcohol. According to a report released today, drugs were present in 43% of drivers killed in 2015, for the first time outpacing alcohol-related deaths at 37%. Carol Akers says her son Jacob was killed by a driver high on opioids. The physical pain you eventually heal from, but the emotional pain just never... The study by the Governor's Highway Safety Association includes all categories of drugs, illegal and prescription. The numbers are a dramatic rise as 29 states in Washington, D.C. legalize some form of marijuana. Are you smoking in the car? Unlike a breathalyzer test for drunk drivers, police have no standard roadside test to detect most drugs. How difficult is it to know if somebody's on a drug? Uh, it could be extremely difficult if you don't know what you're looking for. With police across the country in need of training, the study says many drug drivers are combining multiple substances. I can still hear the impact. Mary Gaston says her son Blake was killed by a driver high on medical marijuana. There's a perception that marijuana does not impair you like alcohol does, that you can smoke a couple joints, eat a couple brownies, and go out and drive. That's not true. You are impaired. Tonight, the lives behind the numbers, the sobering truth about drug driving. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Los Angeles. We're back in a moment with why this was...